Hi Capricorns, welcome to my channel. So this is going to be your June love and relationship reading. This is going to be for your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. All right, so we're going to jump into the reading and see what messages the universe has for you and your person. Spirit, what messages do you have for Capricorns? What messages do you have for Capricorns? What do they need to know? Oh, somebody's watching you. The Page of Swords flipped out. Uh huh. Five of Cups. Someone is upset or they're regretting something they said or did to you, Capricorn. I felt the energy of you guys holding back from someone. Maybe being stubborn with this person. Um, we have the Seven of Pentacles, Five of Cups, and the Page of Swords. So... Some of you could be dealing with a younger air sign, Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius, or someone who is um, just paying close attention to what it is that you're doing. It's sort of like watching you behind the scenes. I don't feel like this person wants you to know that they're looking in on you. But with that Five of Cups, um, I feel like there's something that happened between the two of you. And it could have been your person's fault and they're regretting what happened and wanting to make things right with that seven of pentacles. But they're not quite sure how to uh, move something forward. It's like they've invested their time in something. I don't know if this person apologized or they're going to come towards you and apologize. But they've invested a lot of time in something. Maybe they're invested a lot of time in thinking about something, but not actually taking action, wanting stability, wanting security, because that's what pentacles are. Um, but I feel like they could be holding back because you're holding back, sort of like mirroring, mirroring your energy. So what messages do you have for Capricorns? What do they need to know about their person and the situation spirit? What does Capricorns need to know about their person and the situation? Oh my goodness. Okay, so we have the Nine of Swords here. This person is losing sleep over you. They're sad. I feel like if you're holding back from someone, Capricorn, they wish you would talk to them. <laughs> Basically, is what I'm seeing here. Like someone wants you to stop being stubborn, come out of your feelings and tap into your emotions. And I feel like that's something that you're not doing. And maybe you're not doing it because you feel like this person doesn't deserve it. Oh yeah, you cut someone off. Could have been an air sign, Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius here. Spirit, um, or you're dealing with the Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius. But I feel like you cut somebody off. Spirit, what messages? You have someone in their feelings big time. And they want you to be in your feelings about them, but I feel like you won't. You're not as emotional as this person. Somebody that you're dealing with, Capricorn, I feel like this person flies off the handle. Like when you guys are trying to discuss something with them and everything turns into an argument with this person. You feel like this person never sees your point of view. Spirit, what messages do you have for Capricorns? Yeah, the Wheel of Fortune. Well, there is change coming to you guys' connection. Some of you could be dealing with a Taurus or a Scorpio. Expect this change. This person may come in wanting to commit or tell you that they're ready to commit to this situation with the Hierophant. They may have felt like um, whatever you're putting them through, they actually is learning the lesson with the Hierophant, the Nine of Swords, and the Five of Cups. I don't feel like this person is going to tell you that, though. I feel like they're too prideful and too um, egotistical Capricorns to tell you that they get it. It's like, okay, I get it now. I don't want this connection to end or I don't want us to continue to be mad at each other. It's like this person wants you guys to start talking again. Yeah. Some of you could be dealing with an Aries. We have the Emperor here. This person wants to be in control. They want to be the boss. They want to be in charge of the situation. But I feel like they don't treat you right. Spirit with Yeah. All right. So we have the Queen of Pentacles here. This is your energy coming out. I feel like for some reason you may have turned your back on this person. Because when I pick these two cards up like this, this one came out first. And then this one, it's like your back is turned to this person. And I feel like you've given all that you can to them. Or all that you're willing to give. Um, you compromise yourself a lot. And you sacrifice a lot for this person. And I feel like you. You're like they they just don't get it. They don't appreciate it. 
Spirit, what messages do you have for Capricorns? What do they need to know about their situation, Spirit? Spirit, what messages, what messages do you have for Capricorns? What do they need to know about their person and their situation? Mm-hmm. I feel like someone is being sneaky here. Someone is hiding their feelings. They're hiding the fact that they know they have to change in order to bring you this Ten of Cups energy. I'm sure if you're dealing with a Scorpio here. Or a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. Spirit, spirit. What messages? I feel like this person confuses you sometimes. Um, we have the devil and we have the eight of swords. We have your energy coming out here. I feel like things can be toxic between the two of you sometimes. And then there could be a lot of lust and temptation and passion and chemistry here with the devil. I do feel like there is a strong bond between you and this person. And each time that you guys argue... And go through something, you wind up coming back together. But it's sort sort of like a scary situation because you don't actually know if it's going to happen. So it's like when you're mad at this person or, or when this person is mad at you, I feel like the both of you, um, you're like, I don't know if we're getting back together. I don't know if we're ever going to talk again. And then you guys wind up coming back together. You see these two people are chained together here. Okay, so I feel like there's a strong bond between the two of you. But when you guys go through something, it's hard to like bridge it, bridge the gap or bring you guys back together. I feel like you're stubborn and this person is egotistical. So they're always in their ego. Their pride is always taking precedence, Capricorn, over making up with you or fixing the situation. But I feel like that's something that they're realizing that they can't do anymore. They don't want to give you this type of energy anymore. Because they feel like if they do, you're going to move away from the situation and they won't have you. And I feel like this is what they're fearing. So if you're not talking to this person right now, they want to talk to you so bad. They're keeping their eye on you with that page of swords. You know, trying to make sure you don't talk to anyone else. Some of you may have a choice between two people also is what I'm picking up on here. Spirit, what messages do you have for Capricorns? What do they need to know about their person and the situation? Yep, here we are, the pride and the ego. This person wants to win. They, they're they used to, you know, getting their way. You see this person sitting on their high horse. Uh, I feel like some of you could be dealing with someone who is important or they're in a public eye. Maybe they have a lot of followers on social media and this like makes their head really big. Um, maybe this person has a lot of subscribers on YouTube or something here. Or sometimes this person may feel like, you know, they don't want to apologize or they shouldn't apologize, but they know they have to, to save the connection. It could be a fire sign you guys are dealing with an Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius. It's really dominant. Like I'm picking up some really dominant energy. So what messages do you have for Capricorns? All right, so we have the King of Cups. There's a lot of emotions here um, for you. This person's feeling it, but they turn their back sometimes. We have the King of Wands and the King of Cups. I feel like some of you are dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, um, and others of you could be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Now, with a fire sign, I feel like this person is in their pride and their ego a lot, and they know they owe you an apology or they need to fix something, but I feel like they... They're very standoffish. They still hold off to see if you're going to do it. And then if you don't do it, then this person comes in. Then they call, then they text. This person right here, the King of Cups, some of you are dealing with that water sign. I feel like they hide their feelings a lot, but they have a lot of deep emotions for you. And it's like when you talk about leaving this person, they get afraid. Very scared, very nervous. But it's like they'll die. They rather die than tell you. And I hate to say it like that, but like seriously, this person, I feel like the King of Wands acts this way with you for those of you who are dealing with a fire sign and the King of Cups. It's like they have all of this love for you and they're always afraid that you may leave them for good or, you know, each time they do something, that may be the last time. But this person won't express that to you. 
I feel like that's some sort of manipulative mechanism that they have um, in order to be in control because I did see the Emperor card there. Spirit, what messages do you have for Capricorn? Some of you guys are dealing with the Leo. Why am I channeling Leo energy? Now, I haven't seen the card yet, but I feel like some of you are. We have the Eight of Pentacles. We have the Four of Cups. Yeah, look at this person wanting to have a new beginning with you, but, but holding back. <laughs> you're like, okay, if you don't reach out to me, I won't reach out to you. And I feel like this is what you're letting this person know without even saying it. So expect someone to take a leap of faith towards you. With the full card here, could be an Aries. This is Aries energy. Um, but this person is so used to holding back and getting their weight. And I feel like you're not giving this person their weight anymore. They know they have to come in and they have to fix things and they have to work on this connection. And they are willing to do that in order to keep you. Oh. Yeah, this person is conflicted, but the reason why they're conflicted is because they know they have to come in and fix the situation with you, and they see you as the Nine of Pentacles. They put you in high, like they hold you in high regard. This person knows you don't need them. Um, I feel like if you're with them, it's because you want to be, not because you need to be, and they're realizing that. They're realizing you could have anyone you want, and I feel like that scares them. This person may even have low self-esteem. They may feel like they don't deserve you. They may question themselves like, you know, why she want me? Why he want me? Like that type of energy. What do, you know, what do I have that they would want? I feel like this person doesn't realize that you could just want them just for them. Like you don't need anything from this person. Spare, what messages do you have for Capricorns? What do they need to know about their situation? Ace of Pentacles. All right, so we also have the Six of Cups. Expect reconciliation from this person. Okay, expect for them to come in and talk to you about something. Expect for them to offer you something. Is what I'm seeing here. Some of you, um, you've known this person for quite some time with the Six of Cups here. You may have grew up with them. You could have went to um, grade school or high school with them. So what messages do you have? What messages do you have for Capricorns? Five of Pentacles. This person feels like you're leaving them out in the cold. Could be a Virgo that you're dealing with Capricorn or a Gemini. Okay, so we have Virgo energy twice here. Gemini or Virgo with the magician and then we have the hermit I feel like if you're holding back from your person they're trying to outsmart you by doing the same thing but they're crumbling they're crumbling it's like they're not good at it <laughs> whatever you're doing it is what it is that's what you do you're normally stubborn you hold back and you're like nah I'm just a stubborn ass person but I feel like this person is trying to match your stubbornness and like I said, um, it's killing them. <laughs> Capricorn, they can't take it. They're like, I don't know how Capricorn does it. I don't know how Capricorn hold back from me and, you know, can be so stubborn and not talk to me and don't miss me and things like that. This person feels like you're leaving them out in the cold. They feel like you don't miss them. I feel like you do miss this person. You're just not putting up with their bullshit. <laughs> like, basically. Spirit with messages. Oh, damn it. I tried to keep that card from falling on the floor. Give me one second, Capricorn. All right, so as soon as I can pick this card up, the card that fell is the Three of Wands. So someone is patiently waiting for you to return or waiting for you to talk to them. We have the Three of Wands here, a fire energy. I mean, fire sign energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Spare what messages. Let's get one more and then we're going to get some message cards. Yep, holding on to you. Holding on to you and their money. Look at their face. <laughs> like, yeah, like, mm -mm. all right. So this person's hanging on to you. They don't want to let you go. They won't tell you though, right? Because they feel like you won't open up about your feelings. I feel like somebody here is like, you're wrong and you're like, they're wrong. And you guys are not talking to each other. And in order to fix this, you guys are going to have to come together and stop being stubborn. Spirit, what messages do you have for... 
that this person says something or did whoa somebody wants to talk to you bad like all of these cards just like came out of the deck here but this one turned over so we're gonna take it we have unvalued taking for granted unequal give and take not feeling appreciated yeah so i feel like you don't feel appreciated by this person it's like you do things for them out of the kindness of your heart capricorn and you feel like this person takes advantage or they don't show gratitude or something yeah waiting they're waiting on you holding on to hope not taking action stand still and delay so it's like they're hoping you come in they're hoping you call them or or text them and say what you feel spirit what messages do you have what messages do you have for capricorns and that person look at that you got secretly stalking this person is watching you the first card that came out of the deck for you was the page of swords and here you have it again confirmation curious about you not over you checking your social media what messages do you have for Capricorns? What messages do you have for Capricorns? What do they need to know about their situation? Okay, all of these cards wanted to fly out of the deck at the same time. This person could have had you in a third-party situation, but it's like they're afraid to lose you. So like, why have me in a third-party situation if you're afraid to lose me, right? Doesn't make any sense. We have love triangle. Something is interfering. Competition and enemy. No one compares to you. First true love. New love experiences. So the universe already is letting this person know they're not going to be able to replace you. There is no grass is greener on the other side. Okay, they may have thought it was. They may have tried it out. And now this person is like they're suffering because of something they said or did to you and it's like you're not budging at all i feel like some of you still want this person though you still love them but you're teaching them um a lesson or it's like you're you're teaching this person how to treat you so they know whatever they do to you right in negative energy is there's consequences to pay and i feel like this is what you're teaching this person what messages what messages do you have so let's get one more what messages do you have for capricorn again feeling rejected isolation loneliness scarcity mindset this person feels like you're leaving them out in the cold they don't know if you still want them or not they're hoping you do but they're not sure capricorn Okay, so you have somebody worried. <laughs> somebody is fearful, but they will they won't tell you. They're just gonna hold back and hope. You know, I feel like this person watches their phone to see if like you're gonna text them throughout the day and stuff like that. Spirit, what messages do you have for Capricorn? What does their person want them to know that they're not saying? Let's get some messages on that. Spirit, what is Capricorn's person holding back on when it comes to what they want them to know? What is Capricorn person not saying to them that they're feeling? Oh my goodness. Didn't I tell y'all somebody want to talk to y'all? Look at all these cards that are flying out of the deck. All right, let's shuffle one more time. All right. So we have, I know you still think I'm dealing with my baby mom, but I'm not. I play nice for the sake of my kids. I'm in love with you. They will call you in a couple of days. They're losing sleep because they know what they did was wrong and you didn't deserve it. Wishing I could sleep with you every night instead of sleeping next to someone I don't really love. If you knew how much I miss you, you wouldn't doubt our love for each other. We have, I can't fight this feeling anymore. Spirit, what messages do you have for Capricorns? What was their person wanting to say? I constantly think about the sexual chemistry we have and I always want you. We have, your, we have soulmates. You and this person, love will last a lifetime. Yep, and here we are. You are both being stubborn, but wanting to text each other. You're thinking holding back will make them act right. And let's get one more. 
The feelings are mutual. They love you just as much as you love them. Expect a phone call or message from your person. They typed up a whole text message to you and never sent it because of fear. You will reject they, because of fear, you will reject them and not respond. So I feel like this person typed up a text message to you and just never sent it, um, fearing that, you know, you're going to read it and just, you know, that's it. And <laughs> you're not going to respond to them. So those are the messages that I have for your reading Capricorns. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys are going through out there. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram at My Cards Never Lie Tarot. I'm also on TikTok at The Empress 522. And I will see you guys in the next reading. Bye.